planet formation theories. Planet formation theories explain how planets form from the dust and gas present in protoplanetary disks around young stars. There are several proposed theories to account for this process, but two of the most widely accepted ones are the nebular hypothesis and the core accretion model. Nebular hypothesis The nebular hypothesis is one of the earliest and most influential theories of planet formation. It suggests that planets form from the same spinning, flattened disk of gas and dust, a protoplanetary disk that surrounds a young star as it forms from a collapsing molecular cloud. The key steps in the nebular hypothesis are as follows. Collapse of molecular cloud A molecular cloud of gas and dust begins to collapse under the influence of gravity. As it collapses, it starts to spin. Formation of protoplanetary disk as the cloud collapses, it flattens into a spinning disk due to conservation of angular momentum. The central star to be forms at the center of the disk. Grain growth Tiny dust grains collide and stick together, forming larger particles called planetesimals. Planetesimal accretion Planetesimals continue to collide and grow, forming protoplanets. These protoplanets continue to grow by accreting more planetesimals. Clearing the disk The largest protoplanets in a region can clear out their orbits of other debris, becoming dominant and eventually evolving into planets. Core Accretion Model, also known as the bottom-up model The Core Accretion Model is another widely accepted theory of planet formation and is particularly applicable to the formation of gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. It focuses on the formation of a solid core before the planet accumulates its massive gas envelope. The key steps in the core accretion model are as follows. Solid core formation Dust and ice particles in the protoplanetary disk collide and stick together, forming planetesimals. Some planetesimals grow large enough to become solid cores. Gas capture once a solid core reaches a critical mass, typically several Earth masses, it can gravitationally capture gas from the surrounding disk. This gas capture process can be rapid and result in the formation of gas giants. Runaway Gas Accretion The core continues to accrete gas, and as it grows, its gravity increases, allowing it to attract even more gas. This process can lead to the rapid growth of a gas giant's envelope. These two models are not mutually exclusive, and in reality, both processes like play a role in planet formation. The choice of which model dominates depends on factors like the distance from the central star, the availability of solid material, and the composition of the protoplanetary disk. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.